Hey, this is Daniel Grove, and I've got another awesome freebie for you available on my Gumroad account. This is a set of sci-fi props and kit bash pieces, pipes, tubes, accessories, some random cylinders, and some really awesome geometry node setups that are pre-made for you, easy to control, and a ton of fun to play with. So let me show you what the three basic ones are real quick. And of course, as always, there's plenty of room for improvement. I left this wide open for you guys. You all can build your own things with this. This plane is currently scattering the pieces from the small pieces collection. You can super easily change this right over here. Just kill that, select the square pieces, and boom, we've got a whole other assortment of things. Over here in the modifiers tab for each of these three geometry node setups, we've got a bunch of real easy controls up front. We've of course got density. Be careful with that one if your computer can't handle it. We've got seed for different scatter patterns the minimum and maximum scale. This one has a height randomization so they can stand out from their surface that they're originating from to give more height variation. This one right here populates pieces only on the edges that are facing outwards. This is great for construction sites, space stations, maybe the edge of a large spaceship. You want to put some antennas or greebles on it. And this does actually have an extrusion. So this is actually a flat plane that uh, geometry notes is extruding and then it is populating the pieces all along that flat edge. This one is super cool. It's grabbing these pipe assets that I made over here and just scattering them and rotating them randomly. You can populate it super densely whereas there's just like infinite pipes. This also has that height thing so we can add more uh, depth to our pipe setup. These pipes have a decimate modifier put on them so that in the viewport, they'll be lower poly and look a little funky, but it makes it easier for a computer to calculate a bunch of them in one scene. But when you render, the decimate modifier will not be visible and everything will be high poly. All these pieces are UV unwrapped, so you can use your own PBR textures or use the ones that are included. I create my own custom PBR sci-fi textures. This one includes for free the uh, Super Panels 2, which is a really just great universal texture set that can be stuck on anything large or small. It's got a whole bunch of different images included, such as ambient occlusion, line, normal, displacement height, random colors per face, and you can tweak the heck out of these to get some really great custom textures. Along with this really great PBR texture set, there is a procedural noise generation no group that I made called the Noise Machine. It allows you to mix between A, Musgrave, and B, Soft Noise. There's tons of options for each of these, A and B, including Grit, which gets a really great destruction of the noise roughness we've got some map ranging sliders here to control the value of the outputting noise really great if you're sending this to the roughness or metallic inputs you can turn up the invert to flip it upside down the noise machine is just really great for adding dirt and grime to your sci-fi textures to make sure that they're not perfect and clean and unrealistic looking there's also another material called hole one which uses the super panels textures but in a different way and gives you a nice uh, more gray spaceship hole look Totally scalable in the UV editor for large objects or small objects. Here's a bunch of beautiful structural pieces like struts and antennas and supports. These pieces can be used to create custom pipes and connectors. And geometry notes is just awesome. I mean, look at this. This would have taken me so long to just to place these things and build this. It's all automatically generated. You can slap this on your models you've already made or create dummy meshes underneath your real objects and use those to populate variables on top of to give more variety, scale, and realness to your scenes. Also included in this free download is an examples blend file, which uses these same setups in real world settings with some really cool space scenes, just to show you some different ways that they can be used. I made these assets to build a huge animation project that I'm still working on. It was all inspired by an artist that I follow, Art of Soulburn. He made some really great stuff. And I decided because I was inspired by him to make these things and they turned out so great, I would share it with you guys for free. It's also a great way to start learning geometry nodes, which I do not know. I am not a geometry nodes guy. Don't be asking me for complex stuff because I barely get the basics. What you have in this file is basically the extent of my knowledge. And even then I forget stuff. So uh, it's a great way to start kind of learning and working backwards and reverse engineer what I've made so you can learn your own ge geometry nodes and make your stuff more customized. Thank you guys for watching this. Go download it for free right now. Build some awesome stuff. Use the asset manager to drag and drop stuff super easily. And once you make some sweet renders, send them my way because I love seeing what you guys make. Have a great week blending.